Okay, awesome. Okay, welcome everybody. Let's come to the back of our mat, start here. Bring prayer hands together. And just gaze at the top of your fingertips. Offer a little exhale right here. Take an inhale through the nose. And then an exhale from the nose. Breathe in, filling the lungs, fresh oxygen. And then just sink deep into your feet. Feel your roots grow. Feel your body settle. Get present to your physical body. Bring attention to your bones and your muscles that carry you around all day long. Feel the skin, the air against the skin. And begin to open up to all of the sounds around you. Close your eyes for a moment, taking, taking your visual out of it for a moment and just shift to your hearing. And just get present. And try to move from a place of observer and resist reacting to see. Settle in. Begin to raise the arms up over the head and eyes can open now and just gaze up. So if you're outside, your eyes are reaching for the sky, fingertips up. If you're inside, just breathe and feel yourself Imagine yourself reaching through the ceiling, through the roof. It's still upward moving energy, right? Find your feet, bend your knees a little bit, push down into the floor, ground, and then stretch up, reach up, straighten your legs. And then bring your palms together right over the crown of the head, right? And just feel that energy line coming down from the earth, from your highest, down through the center core right into the floor, right into the earth. Coming into forward fold, bend your knees and just melt down forward fold, opposite hands, opposite elbows, and just relax, release right here. So late afternoon, maybe you've done already done a, a full list of things today. You need to drop in. See if you can release your neck long. Think about growing the spine today. I want you to think about growing that spine from the tailbone all the way through the vertebrae, the neck and the head. Use the weight of your head. Just elongate here. Soften your knees. Right, and don't be in a big hurry here. Just stay. And sometimes that involves big courage, right? Just to stay. Bring your fingertips to your shin bones and just bring your torso up, halfway lift. Gaze to the top of the mat. And then fold down again, bow down. And go a little deeper, drop into the feet. Let your head drop even more. Release through your spine. Just let your spine relax, right? If we're, re if we're not relaxing, we're resisting. So continue to breathe into the space. Just breathe. Offer breath through the nose, inhale. And then as you exhale, just relax and reach, reach down. Okay, so energy moves down, right? It's still moving downward, moving energy, apana. So just keep reaching down. Reach a little bit more. Right, go deep down, 
deep down, deep down. Bend your knees now, slide your fingertips to your shin bones, and then lift up halfway. Take a big breath in there. Look at the top of the mat. And fold again. Now walk, walk yourself out to plank, to glide out. Feel the press of the hands. Spread your fingers out. Right. Shine down through the earth. Shine down. Keep your belly in and then lift your hips up. Core cultivation here. Dig into your core. Lift your hips high and then drop down into your plank. Push through your heels. Again, lift up. Use your core power, right? Your will. And then right back down again as you control on your way down. Do it one more time. Lift the hips, pull up and in. And then exhale, right to core power here. Push through your heels. Right? And see if you can lengthen from your tailbone now to the crown of your head. Right. And you can always bring your knees down. But let's stay in the core. Yeah? Push through your heels. Take your heels over to the right. Take a side plank, left arm up, gaze up. Stack your left hand over your left shoulder. Feel that. Feel. And then back to center. Over to the other side. Heels over, arm up, gaze up. Pull up and in. Exp expand through the rib cage. And then back to plank. Right, keep it simple, keep breathing. Right, bring your knees down. Shift back to wisdom pose and land your forehead right onto the earth, coming into wisdom pose, child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here, get present now. Get with your breath. The breath is an awesome guide. It takes us into our deeper life, our deeper experience. Right? When you're breathing and you're really focusing on your breath, it's hard to do anything else. You can always come back to this breath anytime. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Another breath in. And another breath out. Setting yourself up for your practice. Take another breath in and feel. As you exhale, deepen. Deepen. Get into the earth a little closer. Drop in even more. Right? Not to be pulled down, but to be energized. Take one more breath in. Breathe in and breathe out and just land right where you are today. Move from there, slither forward on your belly. Begin to go into your cobra pose, upward facing stretch, inhale and exhale. Good, now just follow your breath along here. Inhale, taking it easy and exhale and lower. Right, start to widen the arms out, little spider hands, press down as you lift and melt down. Try to soften through your shoulders, soften through your elbows. It's almost like somebody has a string tied right between your shoulder blades and they're pulling you up. That's where the energy's coming up, right there, between shoulder blades. Nice and easy. Now take it to your highest here and hold. Lift your legs, lift your arms, and feel again here. Send your arms back. Airplane, palms up, straighten them out. So this is like our back core, right? Pressing. Letting, letting your belly land as you reach back, reach back with your arms, legs, breathe, two, one, lift a little higher, two, one, dig into your resolve here, one more, lift higher, two, one, and then all the way down, land on the floor. Make a pillow, put your chin there, let everything go. Take your right arm, shoot it out to the side, palm down, and then left hand plants. Roll to your right shoulder, stack your hips, and then top leg bend, plant your foot. And then take that left arm and reach up. 
right foot for me and just gaze up. Release into the shoulder. Soften the shoulder. Take a breath. Look up. Continue to expand up. Look up. And then bring yourself back to center. Over to the other side. Left arm extends. Press yourself over. Stack your hips. Top leg bends. Plant your foot. Same thing here, y'all. Just get your right arm up. If you feel like you're a little off balance, then just keep your, your arm down. Use your modifications today. Expand. Breathe. Good. And then come back to center. Great. So in the process of deconstructing, right, yoga, pulling ourselves apart to go back together again, inhale here, cobra. Exhale down to be kind, gentle on the journey. All right, let's take a big push up. Belly pulls in off the floor. You can leave your knees down if you want. Otherwise, inhale, pull that belly up and then fire away right up to high plank, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Good, let's take the right leg up. Bend your knee, feel this length right here. Now you should feel a drop in. Right, relax your head, drop your back heel, straighten your arms. Take one breath in and a breath out. Look forward, step that foot, plant it, and come up to warrior one. Arms high. Okay, you get a couple of breaths here. So drop in, follow the breath. Inhale, reach, first one. So you're just kind of getting situated. Keep your arm bones active and your eyes can be forward here. Take one more breath here, reaching up, reaching up, looking up and change. Bring your hands down to the mat, high plank, low plank, upward facing, inhale. Stay at Cobra or go to dog, whatever you're ready for. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breath in and breath out. This is our little resting spot, a little parking place. So you land here, ready to go again. Left leg goes up, take it up high, bend your left knee. Squeeze your heel to glute, drop your back heel, and then can you release your torso a little bit? Take a breath in and exhale, sink that heel. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, look forward, step into warrior. Eyes forward, arms up. Good, situate your feet. Right, heels in line with one, with one another. That's kind of a, an alignment cue. You can work with that. Two more breaths, inhale, reach. Look up, reach up. Exhale, sink the hips. One more, stay active in the arms, look up. And exhale, sink deep and change. Hands to the mat. Step back, high to low plank. Upward facing, take a big inhale. And downward facing, take an exhale. Breath in and breath out. Good, right leg goes high, take it up. Bend your right knee. Take a breath, inhale, straighten the top leg down. Push through the heel, straighten your arms. Three, two, one. Look forward and step into warrior. Arms right up, eyes, guys, eyes forward. Good, reach. Now try to lift the bottom rib cage up. Reach up. Now grow the spine from the tailbone. As you sit deep, keep growing. Keep reaching, keep stretching, strong back leg. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat. High to low plank. Upward facing, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Left leg, bring it up, inhale. Bend your knee this time and hold. Drop your heel, good. And then straighten that leg, get that length again. So from your palms all the way to your, your the sole of that foot, stretch, straighten your arms, take a breath, inhale, exhale, relax the torso. Get a little bit more supple there. Look forward and step. 
warrior one, arms up. Good, adjust your feet, breathe, reach, exhale, sink down. Good, looking for that extension. One more breath in, inhale, reach down, lift, lift your ribs up, reach up, reach up, and exhale, sink deep. Two, one, change, high to low plank. Stretch up, brighten that heart up, open, start to spread the ribs. And exhale, dump the breath out. Breath in and breath out. Gaze to the top of the mat, walk the feet, chair pose. Feet are hip distance, right into it. Bring the arms up, sit deep. Wiggle your, finger, wiggle your fingers and toes, right? So kind of loosen up a little bit in the hands and the feet and then fire the limbs, sit a little deeper, sit back. Three, two, one, stand up and big morning stretch. Open the arms. Lift the heart, open the eyes, and expand. Three, two, one. Inhale, arms come up and forward fold. Dump it out. Half lift, inhale, press into the shin bones, and then step or jump back to high plank, low plank, upward facing, big breath, downward facing, big breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Right leg goes high, inhale. Bend your knee, turn the torso, turn your hips. Dancing warrior right here. Now come up on the right fingertips and lift up the torso a little bit here. So don't get dragged down, don't get pulled down by the gravity here. Lift up, lighten up, straighten your top leg, feel that length again. Squeeze your glute, three, two, one. Now bring your knee to your chest and hover here nice and strong, pull up and in, three, Two, one, send the leg high, take a big breath in, nourishing, and then step forward. Warrior one, arm high. Ha, huh, good, reach. Get to your lowest now and reach for your highest. Look up, now lean the torso back. Plug down through the feet, keep leaning back, reaching back, looking back. Two, one, stretch, and then bring your torso back to neutral, gaze forward. Warrior two, open the arms. Adjust your feet, breathe, get low. Back hand comes down. Now take that front arm straight up, reach up, look up. Good, breathe. Straightening the front leg so we get some extension. Try it again, reach the, the side waist up through those fingertips. Now keep that reach and then bend your front knee. Sit low, sit low, but keep reaching. Don't lose the reach. And the eyes, right, hope rises right out of your fingertips. Three, two, one. Bring your front arm down, side angle. Land, and then expand right from there. Open. So expansion here, opening here in the capacity, full capacity, looking for full potential today. Keep packing it in. Keep pulling your belly in, and then use the lift. Uddiyana Bana, kind of pull it up under the rib cage. And then expand, lean back a little bit. Breathe into the whole rib cage here. Inhale, expand, and exhale. Get a little deeper into that lunge. Three, two, one, change. Hands to the mat, high to low plank. Don't think about it, just go. Upward facing, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Good, be with it, stay, B. Left leg goes high, inhale, bend your knee. Turn the hips, turn the torso, and gaze left. Up on your fingertips on the left hand. Throws you a little off balance. See how you respond here. Take that leg and straighten it out. Press to your heel. Press down to the right palm. Good. Distractions will come, distractions will go. Stay on your, your path here, y'all. Take your knee to your chest and hover. Right, so dig in, decide here. How does it feel to commit, right, to the practice no matter what? Take the leg high, take a big breath in, and then step forward, warrior one. Powerful warriors, come up, we get low, we reach high. 
All right, now settle into your feet and then start to reach, look up, get your bearings. Now lean back, reach back, lean back. So standing back in here, reach back, look back, stretch, stretch your limits here, bust out of that bubble, bend your front knee, breathe in and breathe out. Good, back to neutral. Look forward, get reset, open to two. Just land right in it, right back in it. Back hand comes down and then that left arm goes right up. Good, side bending. So as you reach, right, to really make this powerful, try to take that bottom left rib and lift it up. So you're growing up out of the hip and then drop in a little deeper, keep reaching. Power up that top arm, reach three, get low. Two, reach high, and one, and then bring this front arm down. Land, right arm up. So right away, turn on that upward facing energy, right? Don't let you leave yourself in the ditch. Keep looking and reaching. Breathe. Pull from your foundation. Don't get bogged down though. Keep reaching, stretch. Lean back a little bit, open the heart up. Reach that top arm back push down through the bottom arm and, and really angle into that back foot, strong in the back, get a little lower, three, two, one, change, hands to the mat, high, low plank, right into it, upward facing, inhale, downward facing, exhale, let it go, drop the hips, drop the heels, drop the head, breathe, let that head drop. Shake your head no, shake your head yes. And again, can you get a little bit more supple, supple in that torso? Let yourself drip off the arms. Two, one, good. Gaze to the top, walk or hop, chair pose, second set, have a seat, get low. So the idea here is to build a fire in those quads. Keep pulling your belly in and don't do too much of a back bend here. Just elongate your tailbone. The deep reach out ahead. Right, life is forward. Good, breathe. Look forward, root in, look forward, root in. Slide your hips back, three, two, one. Stand up tall, open stretch here. Open, open, open up. Take a breath in still. And then right back in chair pose. One more time. Sit deep, palms down this time. Good. reach out of the shoulders, reach. Fingers reach forward, booty reaches back. Now lift your heels, lift your heels up. Feel the strength right there, you've got it. Three, sit a little deeper, even if you fall back. Two, one, stand up tall, inhale, sink those heels, open the heart. Three, breathe, two, one, and palms together over the crown, forward fold. Bring it down, relax. And then just go right back to it. Just settle in. Drop in more. Drop in more. Surrender. Regroup. Reload. Give yourself a minute or two just to, you know, be with yourself. Close your eyes a minute and just let go of all of the Internal noise. Trust yourself. Good. You have the strength. You have the resolve. And your knees. You have the willpower because you're standing on your mat right now. Fingertips on your shin bones. Halfway lift. Plant the hands to high plank. Heels to the right for side plank, left arm up. Now do something different and see what you find. Stack a leg or lift a leg. Do something different. Yeah, be willing, be willing to be wrong. And then find something so right. Gaze up, two, one, back to center. Over to the other side. Right arm up. Breathe. 
stack the leg. Woo. And keep going, keep going. Look up. Be willing to fall out. The only way you can fail is not quit. Two, one, and back to center. High, low plank. Upward facing. Take a breath in. Refresh. Take a breath out. Relax. And release the torso, release your head. Breath in. Breath out. Right leg goes high. Inhale. Step forward, warrior one. Arms up. We've been here. Get right in. Open to warrior two. Eyes over the front fingertips. Now this is the external rotation of those legs. So roll those leg bones open and expand the arms out. And then straighten the front leg. Keep the rotation. Glide the upper body. Land the hand right there. Grab on and then rotate. Now look for alignment. Where do you feel centered? Where do you feel mostly like yourself? Breathe. Take that top arm now and reach over your head. And look in that direction. Reach, reach, reach. Here's the strength here now. Here we go. We're going to take the bottom hand up and reach. Bend your knee if you need to. Reach, stretch, and look where you're going. Three, two, one. Reach and come up, warrior two. Bend your knee. We meal the arms. Get low to lunge. Hands down. Bend your back foot. Your back heels up. Now, from here, get low. Roll out to the outer edge of that front foot. Back knee can come down, right? Try it out. See what it feels like. And then you pick your level. Good. Just work with it. Work with what you got. Right? Different every day. Oh my, how it's different every day. <laughs> and that's okay. All right? So dropping down, getting low. Now let's try to get low and take a twist. If you can get your, your left arm down, try that. And then get your right arm up. Lean back, open up, and just release the front leg. Let that front leg just kind of flop out to the right. Lean the torso back to the left and stretch high. Take a breath, fill the whole darn shape here. Inhale, exhale, and then bring the right arm down and see if you can get low here in lizard. Okay, dial that foot even more open, toes out to the side. And by the way, if you're not all the way down, that's okay, right? Just be where it feels right, get right on your edge. And kind of dance on the edge. Don't go past it. Don't go too far out. Right? You get into oblivion and you lose it. So keep yourself in your, in your power. It's right where you feel good. Slightly uncomfortable, but still in line with yourself. Drop your head. Take another breath in. Exhale out, relax. Walk yourself back up. Hands flat, lift your back leg, and now we're gonna be really strong here. Lift your hips a little bit, release some of that stretch, and then right back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees and get squatty here. Just squat in your dog, squatty dog, so we really help, help out that left hip. Really did stretch it big, All right? So try to bring your ribs to your legs, push down on the front hand. Three, two, and one. And then straighten your legs. Drop your heels. Breathe in, relax your head. Breathe out. Bring your left leg high. Step right into warrior. Plant your feet. Familiar. Drop in. Open to warrior two. Adjust your feet. Right away, expand. Remember to rotate now, external rotation. Both of those hip leg bones roll back. All right, open them up. Find the edges of both feet. And then land your whole foot. Use your whole foot, wiggle your toes, fingers, get low. Reach, stretch that front leg straight. Now remember to lift the ribs. The tendency is to start to drop. Expand 
grow your spine, slide the body, keep growing your spine, keep pushing in that back foot, and then your hand comes down. Grab on, rotate. Use what you got. Settle in. Breathe. Good, just take a moment to feel, do a little body scan. Just try to capture the moment here for what it is. Each breath leads you into the next, right? And we just kind of freeze each moment and anchor into reality. Right. Take your top arm now, reach, get long there. Bend your front knee if you need to, all right, to start. And then release that bottom arm and reach, stretch. Now look where you're going. Believe, push into the back foot and keep extending, reaching out. Challenge here. How do you feel when you meet a little challenge? Right? Straighten that front leg if it feels okay. Try it. Keep reaching, stretching. Lift your back ribs up. Two, one, really strong back to warrior two. Land. Bend your front knee. Soften down with the shoulders. Keep the arm bones strong. Gaze out. Front. Two, one, windmill the arm. Low lunge. Get low. Lift your back heel up drop in. So we go from one extreme to the other. All right, begin to work yourself towards the mat, closer to the mat. And that back, that right leg can be up straight or to the knee. It's up to you. Feel it out. And notice if, you're, if you have your hips up slightly and your leg, your back leg straight, you're, you're already beginning rotation here. So start to twist the torso to the leg and then add the arm. So your forearms down that right side and you're lifting up. Everything's up. Now breathe and fill the lungs all the way around 360. Fill them up. Look up, reach up, and then lean back. Open up. Two. Up and down into the, the floor a little bit more. Drop your hips. If you're not relaxing, you're resisting. So try to relax. Two, one, and then rotate out. Yeehaw. Come down low. Hold here. Release the leg. Keep breathing. Keep dropping in. And then just keep deciding. Decide to go and let go. Right? get this impression, this kind of like preconceived notion where we need to stop. Breathe in and breathe out. Start to walk yourself back up, releasing out of this deep, deep, deep stretch, rinsing the hips, lift your hips up off the floor, step your left foot back and come into downward facing dog. Resting pose right here, drop your heels, bend your knees, and walk your feet closer to your hands, get into squatty dog. Bend your knees, bend your knees. You're really squatty, but you're still in dog. Now, we don't ever wanna like overstretch things. Sometimes it just happens though. We get so excited. We're like, ooh hoo, I got into something and you go a little further. Well, you'll learn. <laughs> I've had many, many a reminder of that. And I nurse something along for a couple of weeks, but that's okay, right, we learn. All right, straighten your legs, relax your neck, and then you're actually, you know, a better, a better practitioner because you definitely found your edge when you do something like that, and that's okay. Drop the torso, relax your head. Three, two, and one. All right, let's walk the feet to the top of the mat. Round to standing, take your arms up, and sweep your heart up. If you need a little water, take it. before we go to standing balance, okay? Just sip yourself a little water. I can't wait till I have people with me <laughs> on this patio. <laughs> Just saying. But I feel you guys through the, through the cyber, the cyber field. All right, so you can be on your mat or off your mat as usual. Actually today, be on your mat because we're going to go back and step back into lunge and then come back into standing back bend. So you're going to need to be on your mat. All right. The top of the mat. 
Por favor. Let's take the left leg up, both arms up, and gaze forward. Left hand to left knee, right into it. Get your drifty now, focus parked on something that's not moving. Breathe, be willing again to what? To fall out, okay? Your balance will never get better unless you just go, just go, all right? Slide your hand down your shin bones, take your big toe if you can, and then pull up and in, everything up and in. Uddiyana Banda, pull up and in, and then reach up. Breathe, start to kick forward, stretch out, extend out, and everything up. Do your best. That's all you can ask yourself, your highest and your best. And then go out into gate, open the leg out to the side or the knee if you have it bent. Keep reaching. And then bring your leg bone back front, out front, hold here. Two, one, send that leg back now. Going into airplane right away. Go into airplane, chest forward, fly. Just take off. Breathe. Just really feel and fly and take off. Eyes are forward. Lift your leg. Drop your chest. Three, two, one. Stretch, lift, and then look at the look at the ground. Land your hand. Step your left foot back. Lunge. Drop your knee. Now we get low. Push your knee out forward over your foot. Okay. You're really sending your knee, you're gonna go over your toes and that's okay if we're in a long hold. Keep your heel down, all right? Don't lift your heel up to get there. Keep your heel down, back off if you need to. Keep pressing your hip bones forward and down. Breathe here. All right, now here is a little bit of a challenge. Roll to your left, just come over to the left side and then back to center. Now if your knee is like, uh-uh, okay? Then start to bend your knee and see if you can get off your kneecap and actually get on the top of your knee, right? More in the flesh up top. Does that help? All right, drop in forward, keep bending your knee if you can, and then roll over to your, just angle to the left, not really roll. Look back, turn and look back and see if you can grab the foot or the heel or something or your pants. Just turn and look. Don't get hung up about it. Three, drop in now two, and turn the quad off just a sec. Turn it off, turn your glute off, keep looking back, even if you don't have your foot, reach, and now release the foot down, and kick back right into half split. Flex your foot and drop your hips back, release all that out. Breathe in, breathe out, toes to the sky. So coming in and out. Opposites here, drop in. And notice how you feel. Just notice. And then release it. Come forward. And you down, head to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Take crow pose here. Don't think about it. Lift your heels, slide your knees to the back of the triceps or wrap the arms and just tip forward, look out over the, the mat. Keep pulling up and in, float the feet. Shoot to high plank or step back. Low plank, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Be with it. Drop the mat. Standing pose, come up. Inhale. Palms come together right at the heart. Got one more on that side. So get reset here. Don't get too settled. And your left leg up. Same side. We're going left leg up, standing bow. Okay, we just prepped for it. Take your, take your, take your ankle and bring your legs back. Got a nice stretch out on this side. Bring your arms up, right arm up. Hold the foot, stretch, press the knee down. Flip your grip. Keep breathing now, sipping air here. Start to kick it up. Don't drop your torso yet. Just kick it up to your highest. Reach up, kick it up, reach up. 
and then drop down. Once you get your leg up, keep kicking. Now expand, expand out all directions. Three, keep stretching. Two, and one. And then right back to standing pose, palms together. Now release that whole side. Just take it and release it. All right, just let it go. Separate your feet and take your right knee up, arms up. Get your dristy. Belly's pulling in. Think of your plank when you're here. Pull, coil it up and in. Right hand, right knee. Slide down the shin bone. Take the ankle. Everything up. Hook your big toe. Keep going. Keep reaching. Eyes up slightly higher. Kick it up. Kick it out. Like right where your eyes go, energy flows. So keep lifting up. Be up. And then open up. Two. Stretch in all directions now. Don't get too grounded in one area. Let it go. Let it open up. And then back to center. Now just fly. Send that leg back, arms back, palms down. Now reach, stretch, lift. Flex your foot. Lift your leg high. Don't think about it. Don't be so cautious. Just go. Take your neck out. Breathe. Lift. Two. One, hands down, step your back foot back down, drop your knee, slow lunge, all right? Situate, really get forward, get that knee forward, keep your heel down, breathe. Of course, if there's any crouchiness here, just back off, but it should be more of a hip thing if your heel's down, wiggle your toes, drop in, get low, hands in, breathe. Now to get off that kneecap, start to bend your back leg. You should feel yourself come forward into the top of the, the, the bottom of the leg, right? Right above your kneecap, keep dropping forward. And then lean to the right a little bit. Left hand, reach back, catch the foot or, or heel. Drop in, drop in. Keep dropping your hips forward. Looking back, dropping your hips forward, releasing forward. Looking back. Catch the foot. Good. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Let go of the quad. Let go, let go. Breathe. Let whatever's possible be. Okay? Receive it. Two. One. And then release. Bring your hands back down. Walk your hands back to split. Half split. Flex your foot. Drop in. Toes high. Breathe in and breathe out. Just keep situating your hips deeper. Flex your foot. And again, just soften into it. Don't force, don't push against things. Allow them to happen. So just be and then see. Two, one. Come forward. Come on out, y'all. Good job. Downward facing dog. Breath in. And breath out. Top of the mat, walk your feet. Rise up. Standing pose, come on up. And then right into your, right into your nataraj here, standing bow. Right hand, right ankle, and bring your arm up. So go ahead and go for it. I'm going to talk you through it. I heard my AirPods get acting weird. So I want you to flip your grip. And I want you to go for it. Play around. Kick it up. Kick it up and go. Keep breathing. Get your focal point forward. And I just want to make sure you guys can hear me still. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more breaths. Now expand everything out. Think of it as a big stretch in all directions. Okay, don't get so stuck in the shape and the glory of it all, just kick it up. Like it's not an ego trip here, like press it up. Be willing to fall out, be willing, be willing to get a little off balance, right? To find a new, a new inch or two, a new couple of inches, go. Keep reaching, stretching, expanding. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Way 
standard. So sometimes courage, a courageous act is to stay and sometimes it's to leave. To release. To get with that, be with that. And then bring your hands right to your heart. Come into forward fold, bow down. Cross your arms and just hang for a moment and drop back into that deep center. Receive. Simply receive. Continue with your breath. Reach your hands down to the mat, stepping back into kneeling position. Okay, getting ready for Ustrasen. If you need to double the mat, go for it. You're going to press your feet down. I'm going to get sideways here so you can see. You're going to press your top of your feet down and just bring your fist right to your back hip. Keep it simple, right? We're just opening and lifting the chest up, all right? Your little flat feet are your base, okay? Go ahead. Let's just sit down a moment, pressing down. Get that, just get that downward moving energy. Right, roots down, roots down. And then as you push down through your feet, I want you to rise up. And then take your hands under your rib cage and just lift the ribs up. And then elongate your tailbone so you feel that length. Grow your spine again from tailbone up through the back, tailbone's long, rib cage is lifting, gaze up. Now keep the ribs up and just expand your arms up, open right here, eyes wide open. Feel a little bit more as you reach. Try to reach out of your ribs, right, right by your arm pits as you extend, expand. Now pull your arms back. And really, really release your pecs. Gaze forward. Breathe in. Fill the upper, upper, the whole upper torso. Fill. Exhale. Relax. And then have a seat back down again. And bring your arms up over your head. Making it a little bit more challenging here. Now push down through your feet. Push down through your feet as you lift up, lift up, lift up, lift your ribs up, ribs up, eyes up, open up, expand, take a breath, and then exhale, have a seat. Right down. One more time, that same key action. Inhale, pull in and up, lift your heart, lift your chest, open up. Three, two, one, and bring your hands right up over your head. I'm gonna keep your up in your knees, hands down. I want you to do that same key action. Push your hips forward, push down through your feet, okay? And then I want you to lift your rib cage up. Just lift the bottom ribs up. Push your hips forward, lift your ribs up. Hips forward, ribs up. You're leaning, pressing forward, and then your feet are really plugging down. Lift your chest, open, head back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Two, keep breathing here. Push your hips forward. One, in the chest and have a seat. And just put your hands right on top of your thighs. We're going to do that again. I want you to keep that energy. And I want you to think of micro movement, micro breath, micro movement as you extend your spine up and back. Okay, it's like this energy that's going and back out of your crown of your head. Okay, up the front of the body and out, so lift, okay? Belly button's gonna firm and lift everything up. All right, let's go again. Inhale, take your arms up, take a big breath in, inhale, reach up, now keep that lift, right? Keep that lift, sweep your hands back behind and root those fists right at the low back. Now push the hips forward, push your hips forward, keep lifting your chest up, up and open, up and open. Now think of that energy shooting from the shin bones out the crown of the head, keep pushing hips forward, reach back, reach back, hips forward, breathe, three, two, one, 
chin to chest, have a seat. Neutral. Bring your chin to your chest and just lengthen now. Bring your neck into flexion and just open up the back of the neck. Good, and then gaze forward. Okay, come into seated pose. Good, bring your soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. And wrap the feet with your hands. Press your leg bones down, sit tall. And take your right he uh, ear to your right shoulder. And then your left ear to your left shoulder. And then back to center and just remain present and open to what is coming up for you. Back bends open up. Sometimes they can open up a can of worms. Chin to chest. Round your spine. Pull the belly button back to spine and round. Inhale, sit tall. Let's be seated. Pigeon, knees together. You're going to take your left leg. Let's do this first, actually. Let's, take, let's bend your right leg and bring it into like a regular pigeon style and then take your left leg back. Okay, so we've done a lot of hip opening today, but I want to get a little bit more into the IT band. So flex your right foot and make your um, shin bone parallel with the top of your mat. Now this left leg, leave that, okay? Let it be comfortable, move it around. I want you to get into that front leg IT. So bow forward. And we're gonna sneak some core in here. Sally. Right foot. He, he gave me the thumbs up, he's like, Get some core in there. All right, so from here, bowing forward, rise up. Now, from here, take your both legs and switch. Line up your left top leg, top of the mat, flex your foot, and bow. Exhale. Release forward. Take another breath or two. I'm going to give you a little, a little stretch here. Complete, continue to just offer yourself into the, into the, um, into the stretch, okay? And as you, as you feel things loosening up, be willing to go, right? As the space, you know, as space becomes available, glide into it like little liquid. You know, just glide into the space, swirl around in there, see what it's like. And now bring your torso up. You can have your eyes closed, by the way, here, if you want to feel more. Hands down, switch your legs again. Right into that fold. Flex your front foot, bow down. Get present to what's happening, again, in your environment. Be an observer. Don't react. Let's see. Harder. <laughs> it's easy to say. Hard to do. Bow forward. Rise up again. Take a breath in. Switch. Bow down. Rise up again. This time, no hands if you can. Switch. Might have to take a couple extra steps. Bow down. One more time each side, rise up, inhale, lift your hands up. You can get your legs situated without your hands and then bow down. Looking for extension now in that spine. Don't lose that key action from the tailbone, out of the crown, extend long, stretch, two, stretching forward to the top of that mat, one, and then rise up, keep the extension, come up, inhale, belly's firm, switch the legs and then down, getting really good at 
pulling in, using what we got, bowing down, extend, extend, not everything has to be the same, right? finding new ways to get there. There's always, an, there's always a way, right? Two, one, and then back to center. Good, okay. Legs come out, Paschimottanasana. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms, get tall. Coming out of the roots of the hip bones, get super tall. Bend your knees, reach your heel. Keep the extension, take a breath. Keep your belly now, pull it up and in. Udiana, pull it in towards your spine. Suck it up under the rib cage. Lift, 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 lift. Keep extending long. Neutral neck, neutral spine, come down. Keep that spine long. So no rounded spine here. Keep your knees bent. Right, your spine should be a long, extended shape here, not rounded. Right, keep lifting your chest up, hold on to those big toes and pull. Okay, and then keep lifting up, lifting up out of your waist. Draw your shoulders down. If you have that shape and you wanna to try to straighten your legs, go for it. Otherwise, keep your knees bent, it's all good. Push down through your sit bones, don't lose the back of your legs. The back of your booty, keep you're stretching up, bending forward, stretching up, bending forward, stretching up, bending forward, up, out front, bending forward. Keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. To your fullest expression now, firm your belly. As you firm your belly, you should feel that mid-back, that mid-thoracic right behind your belly button, kind of push back, right? Chest is still proud forward, eyes forward, two, three, feel, and then rise up, coming right out of it like you went into it. Rise up, rise up. Use your hands, walk yourself back up, sit tall. Good. All right, bend your knees, we're going to go rounding down. So now we go right into rounded spine, flexion of the spine, and you're going to take your time going down each little vertebrae. Think of it as a pearl necklace. Each little pearl, just follow it all the way, all the way down to the top of the shoulders. You should feel your core here. You should feel some activity, some reminders how strong you are. If you're a little sore, that's just your body saying, I'm ready for you. I'm going to be stronger next time. Shoulders are on the floor. Don't ever be afraid of being a little sore. It's a good sign. All right. So lift your hips away from the earth and then put them back down again. Bring your legs straight up to the sky. We're going to do hip rock raises today up into shoulder stands. So just take your legs towards you, press up, and use your arms and palms flat on the mat. Just keep hip rock raising today. Push your heels up. This is a little core action. Raising your heels as you raise your hips. And then once you get your hips high enough, bend your elbows, catch your hips. Get right into your shoulder stand. Keep breathing. And here, keeping with our theme of growing Right, the spine, keep growing the spine. Whatever's on the floor, whatever's on the earth, we're looking to grow from there, okay? So we're continuing to stretch upward and just expand upward, right? Roots down and then energy is gonna go up. Right? Continue to expand, breathe. And snuggle your shoulders closer together. You can take a bind underneath you and relax your fingers if you're there. And then relax the legs, right? So all of the, the base is in your shoulders. Chin comes away from your neck a little bit. Broadening the chest, softening down, floating the legs. Shoulders stand to plow now, halasana. Take the legs over your head. Find the earth behind you, toes come down if you need to bend your knees. Modify, don't skip. 
sequencing has been around for, for years and it's important to stay in it, noticing how we respond when we hit resistance, right? Do we tend to stay? Do we tend we do we tend to your tendency is to just punch through it, grind? And maybe offer yourself to relax and just kind of melt and be and see. Take another breath in here, filling your shape, stretching through the hamstrings, extending your spine, and then bring your legs straight back up over your head. See if you can just feel a little bit more of a rinse coming down from the tippy toes. Doing the body good here, so good. And then begin to guide your hips down to the mat, round your spine, guide your hips down to the mat. And then everybody just expand out on the, on the mat. We're gonna take fish pose to counter all of that in the shoulders. Okay, but I want you to just land for a moment. And just feel yourself right there, feel the feel the connection. And then begin to walk yourself up to your elbows. Shoulder blades. Squeeze together, and let's do the same thing we did in Ustrasen and Camel. We're going to take those ribs now and just lift them up. And you can even take your thumbs under your ribs and just push them up and just push. So we're not really, you know, again, we're never really trying to argue with our body here. We're just going to guide and lift and see what happens. Guide, lift, plant your hands, press down through the arm bones now, and continue to lift, arch back. Extend the spine. So think of an extension from your tailbone that's on the mat. You're lifting up and then reaching back. Eyes are going to open. Let's flip our perspective and see what comes in. Take a breath in. Fill. Breath out. Stay. Breath in. Feel. Breath out. See if you can just relax a little bit more and trust that your arm bones got you. One more, take a lift, inhale, fill up, go to your high now. lift your chest, lift your chest, lift your chest, open the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then exhale, chin to chest, come out, come out, come out, crunchy, crunchy, maybe, <laughs> I know I am, and then come on down, come on down, palms up, land, Melt. Bring your knees into your chest one at a time. Give yourself a big bear hug. Is this the only hug, hug that you're getting these days? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> uh, we're hug deprived, aren't we? Rock side to side across the low back. And knowing that you've done your body good, taken in your spine in all the directions, you're different than when you stepped on your mat, you're better, for sure. Take your knees over to the left, rinse out anything that's left, and you don't even have to know that it's there. Actually, the good stuff that needs to get gone, the bad stuff that needs to get gone, is usually hiding out. So just set an intention to release whatever is in there. Just close your eyes, dump the suitcase out into a bag, throw it out. Take a breath in. Breath out. Come back through center with legs one at a time. 
go to the other side and look off to the to the other side, opposite side, just relax the side and then do it. Right, if it lands on your heart, and it, it catches your attention, it's worth trying. Take a breath in, and a breath out. We just punch a hole in our bubble, and step into the world. And then bring your legs back to center. Happy baby. Rock and roll side to side. Shavasana. Complete stillness. Release any tension in your face and your fingers and your toes. You need to feel your breath expanding as you inhale and then sinking deeper on the exhale. Keep letting yourself dive down deep into your heart. To increase your breath a little bit, bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. Blink your eyes open. If you're in a really sweet spot and you want to hang for a little afternoon relaxation, please do. If you're ready to move and begin to rise up.
pushing yourself up to seated. It's dinner time. Can you tell? <laughs> bothering me all through class. Yeah. Ladies, it's always my pleasure. It takes a lot of courage to step on your mat. Things can come up that you don't want to see. So honor yourselves for taking the time for yourself today and making a step towards a new you, right? The light in me always and every honors each and every one of you. I bow to you. Forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. The light in me honors and bows to the light in you. I got like kind of off track. Okay. Love you guys. Have a beautiful evening. Together we say. Namaste. 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 Beautiful class. Thank you. Hey, girls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a beautiful Wish evening. You. See you later. See you later. Thank you, Sue. Miss Love you, girls. Bye. Love ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.